All right, here we go. We got another uh, Living God series. So back to the Living Living God series. And today we're going to talk about the uh, human form God series. Uh, part three. Oh, actually, part four. Wait, 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 where are we at? Part four, you know what I'm saying? There we go. And it's the human form. Heck yeah. And then this form, I'm gonna draw a little sketch of a person real quick. So we got the shoulder, head, and got the shoulder, arms. So you got right here, you got the fourth chakra, fifth, sixth, and then you got seven. That's the crown, third eye, throat, and then you got your uh, heart chakra all right so in the last one we said that anything lower than four and down were part of the animal ones animal form uh, which is connected to the earth all right so now we're going to talk about stuff that's above it the higher energies and uh or chakras you know what i'm saying it's either or whichever one you want to say all right so the cool thing about this is that if your body is the uh magnetic field so it ends there you have one more energy center that is outside of your body and that's what makes most people uh positive uh beings uh, positive beings meaning that um, positive energy seeks out uh, negative energy and negative energy seeks out positive energy so you become uh, conductive you know what I'm saying so once you're conductive I don't know if conductive I'm missing something there anyway so that's what's happening so in uh, the universe uh, you're inside of that plasma again so here's that dotted line, center of the universe. You got energy going that way, energy going out that way. It's going inside this way. It's spinning like a vortex, and it's coming out that way in a vortex. All right. So your body is also like that, and this is going outwards. Uh, from the animal form, it's going inward to the heart chakra, into the heart chakra, and then it's coming outward outside the chakra. So in the universe, it has all this plasma of negative and positives and negatives and positives and negatives and positives all over the place. So if your body, your um, material body is uh, pretty, uh, the energy centers are going pretty strong, uh, then you have a strong charge. And then whatever this crown chakra, so whatever you're trying to manifest into creation, that's what the, the seven crown chakra is kind of for, is a manifestation. Um, the third eye is uh, perception. Uh, you got communication. And you got uh, faith and uh, or belief whichever one fits uh, your situation better. So um, say if you believe something, now you bring it to the higher uh, realm of understanding. And these are all realms of understanding to get to the train of thought. So um, you have the throat. So you want to communicate what you understand. So that might be through pictures, through words, uh, through your actions. And then you have your perception. So what you uh, think of it, how you see it through your lens uh, or through the lens that you have practiced in your life so like uh, me personally I've uh, went through college and did the sociology course at the I see a lot of things through the sociological imagination and I think that's another topic for another day but uh, that's my perception and then I have my own perception so I, I, I switched between those two in the day and then we have the crown which is manifestation and that is bringing into reality that's creating your reality so uh, once you go through all these you hit seven which is an energy source that has the ability to attract or repulse things in and out of your reality using this plas this uh, plasma 
you know what I'm saying, this energetic plasma that's left over. And that's the power of the human. Uh, we have that power to act on this energetic plasma and create reality and make things that did not ex exist uh, prior to us being here. May that be poetry, may that be technology. Uh, they say that there's nothing newer under the sun. I mean, I don't, there's new things in our lives and that's what should be the focus of it, not so much as what's been considered eternity. So there you go. Uh, you got the human form. The reason why you become human is because you can create this chain of thought that's independent of the earth energy. You go along to the uh, cosmic energy and that is in your connection to the cosmic energy is that seventh uh, chakra that sits outside of the body which is another energetic uh generator for your body but it's not a part of your body so it gives you direction kind of makes you like a dagger in the universe and uh you can cut into it to uh craft reality the way you want to if you are doing it right and constructively uh, following the principles of uh, physics you know but that's what this uh, universe is ruled by so there you go the part four of the living god series